including images within your book is a great way to enhance the reader experience and make your content more engaging. However, it's important to know how to properly insert images within your chapters to ensure they display correctly and don't impact the flow of your text. In this tutorial, we'll guide you through the steps to insert images into your pages and chapters within Atticus. To get started, place your cursor at the point in a page or chapter where you'd like to insert an image and click the picture icon from the toolbar. You can choose to upload a new image or insert one that is already in your image gallery. You'll be brought to the general image options where you can write a caption, choose your alignment, enable wrap text if desired, set the image to display on a separate page, adjust the size, and even add a link for the EPUB version of your book. Once inserted, you can always click the gear icon to the right of the image to reopen this customization window. Let's take a closer look at the options. If you'd like your image to show a caption, you can enter it here. It will always display in italic text beneath your image matching the alignment of the image. Similar to standard text options, you can choose to have your image left, right, or center aligned to the page margins. If your image doesn't take up the entire width of the page, you can set the text to wrap around your image. If your image is left aligned, the text will appear to the right of the image. If the image is right aligned, the text will appear along the left side of the image. If you also have a caption, the caption text will be contained to the width of your image. The separate page option is designed for the print version of your book. It will force the picture to be set on its own page within the chapter. The text will be separated where you place the cursor to insert the image. As a note, for images within a chapter, they will all fit within the margins of the page matching the text content. You cannot currently set a chapter image as full bleed. You can reduce the size of your image so it suits the size of the page. The size adjuster will maintain the ratio of your image, ensuring it does not ever skew your picture. You can only make the image smaller, not larger, which would impact the quality. You also cannot crop the image within Atticus. It's best to make all major adjustments to any images before you import them, and we have an entire article dedicated to helping you calculate the proper size for your images. You can also add links to your images, which will be live and tappable in the EPUB version of your book. If you set a web link, when a reader taps the image on their screen, it will pull up a separate browser with the link you include. Always make sure to include the proper hrefs when typing in your link. Alternatively, you can also include an internal link, which will bring the reader to another page or chapter in your book. You can only set internal links to the top of a page or chapter according to the title of that page. Now that you know how to insert images within your chapters using Atticus, you can take your book to the next level by incorporating visually appealing content that complements your writing. If you're ready to put the finishing touches on your manuscript and turn it into publish ready files, you'll want to check out this playlist or this video next to see what your next steps should be.